Okay, after we've downloaded the firmware, our gateway is now starting up. First tries to connect to our Wi-Fi, gets the IP address of our gateway, and now it's ready to forward whatever packets our sensor node is sending to TTN. The first thing that we need to, do, to examine is um, if you happen to... Okay, let me just adjust it here. Okay, when it's ready, it tries to publish the IP address on the OLED display. What we're going to do is we're going to go into that page now because this gateway also serves as a web server. So we're going to go into that page and look at how our gateway is um, configured. Okay, so I'm loading the gateway page now. It's a web server. Right now, it's not receiving anything. So if you look at package, um, sorry, package statistics, this is actually the number of messages it receives. Downlink packages, nothing. SF7 receive, it tries to listen to SF7, SF8, SF9, and so on, but we're only listening to SF7. There's nothing in here. And notice um, nothing much. So it's, it's sending to router that is one that thinks that work. Um, for TTN, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at TTN also. I'm looking at the application data page in the TTN console. We haven't received any data from our gateway yet. That's because we also we don't have any nodes uh, connected to it yet. So next things up, we are going to connect this thing. This is basically my sensor node. It's um, ASP32 LoRa um, board, development board, um, made by TTGO. It's actually a copycat of the Heltec um, board. So pin mapping wise, they're, they're identical. There's no difference between these two boards and the Heltec one. I've connected a DHT11 a temperature and a humidity sensor to this board. So that we'll be able to display our data into the TTN console. Now, if you look into my TTN console configuration, I have also enabled um, Cayenne LPP. So if you look at my data formats, my payload formats, it's being set to Cayenne LPP. Cayenne LPP is basically a more like a compressed payload format, um, which is suitable for microcontrollers. Okay, so we're going to be watching our data page now. I'm going to connect this sensor node into my uh, LoRa gateway. So as you notice, as soon as I power this one up, oh, there you have it. There you, as you can see, we, have, we now have some data registered into TTN. And the gateway also will display the packets it receives from our node. So looking into our gateway um, OLED display, um the time this display here is uh will indicate when the package is being received by your gateway rssi of course is a signal strength and the address the address of your um lora node is 2604 as you can actually, uh, you can actually find that one here in the overview or the data settings so in the settings you'll find the access keys Sorry, the EUIs, the device address, and so on. So under devices, let's see if this re device really is um, the one that's publishing. So the device address is 26041938, that's correct. So there you have it, guys. We have our LoRa node publishing data about the temperature and humidity. The OLED display here is not so great. Um, the build quality of these boards are so-so. So our LoRa gateway is able to receive those packets coming out from this board. And since I've established uh, Cayenne integration with TTN, we can also look at the Cayenne page and look at how it's being displayed in our Cayenne page, the temperature and humidity. So you have some humidity the values equivalent to 59, SNR 9, minus 49. That also corresponds to the current values that are being displayed in the TTN network. 
Let's go to data. So we have two packets now being received. Now, as you may have noticed, uh, the counter here is not actually sequential. It goes from 0, 8, 16, and so on. And that's because our node is actually publishing data on different spreading factors and different uh, frequencies. Our LoRa gateway, since it's a single channel one, is not able to um, receive those data published at different frequencies. It has to be on a specific frequency because this thing is listening on a certain frequency and not able to transfer to another frequency. Uh, it's also the same thing that's displayed in the LoRa gateway page. If you go to the very top, let me just try to refresh it. Only able to, to it's only able to uh, receive two packets from SF7, and no packets being received from eight, nine, ten, and so on. Okay, so do keep that in mind. Um, your single channel gateway is only able to receive from a certain channel and nothing else. But yeah, this is one example of how you can easily set up one ESP32 with an attached um, SX1267 uh, chip and make it work as a single channel gateway. And also another ESP32, which we're going to talk about later on and how we can um, make this as our LoRa node publishing data to TTN. Okay, so up next, we will try to discuss more on how we will integrate our TTN data with Kayin and how we will be able to build a LoRa node such as this one, how easy it is to set up. And that's it. I hope you guys learned anything from this. And I will see you in the next tutorial video.